So it's very echoey in here, but I still thought it was the best place to start this video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Anna Mae. And today I'm going to be, hopefully, making a dress out of a vintage sheet. I say vintage, it's just secondhand and looks really old. <laughs> I thrifted this sheet a while ago, like I'd say a year ago at this point. Uh, it's definitely one of my thrifting videos from last summer when I was going to just different charity shops in my town. And recently, my previous video, I'm after dyeing it to kind of warm up the color because the color isn't great. But I am a big fan of like vintage style dresses, very classic things. You can probably see my pearls, my pearls. Um, so because it's a double bed sheet, it is like two meters by two meters. So I have quite a bit of fabric to work with actually. The pattern I'm gonna to use today, I have used before and I will link in the cards my one I made in 2021. I think it was a video um and it's the dress i'm wearing it's a really simple pattern from new look and i make it in a 14 which is the larger of my typical size like it's the larger size of that bracket but i've actually made some changes to the pattern which i will get into in a minute when i show you what i've drafted um but it's a great pattern it's very versatile in my opinion so i'm gonna start cutting out the pieces which is why we're in here. My family's not here, so I have it all laid out on the kitchen table. So I'm gonna pull out the pattern pieces, lay them out, and talk you through the changes that I made to the pattern, and then get to cutting and sewing. So I just realized my battery's running low, which is really annoying, but I'm just gonna try and show you the pieces I've drafted before I charge the battery. So this is the pattern I'm using. Um, it's New Look 6262, and I'm making this one so i'm going to be making these slightly longer sleeves so it look like this it's the one that i've made in the kind of orangey what color would i call that mustardy color before um and i think i'm probably going to be making one of these in the near future um but the difference is you can see the neckline on this so in the pattern and the one i've already made is quite high so that is what i was partly why I was drafting my own pieces. I also shortened it by about, uh, sorry, this bodice back, by about um, four or five centimeters. I can't remember exactly now. I really should have written that down, um, but I am a short person. So uh, I knew based on the fit of the previous one that that would make it fit just that little bit better, um, especially when I'm trying to give it a more vintage look. So aside from that, I'm gonna try and get this to do this, you can see here that I have changed the neckline. So I have made it more of a deep scoop neckline. Um, I kind of lowered it by about 10 centimeters, which sounds like a ton, but really I don't think it's going to be majorly low. Um, it's just because the original neckline is so high up. So I kept the shoulders exactly as they were and I just drew this. It took a couple attempts to get it in exactly the shape that I wanted, but it should be good. So obviously I just did this myself on some uh, baking paper and drew in the darts and all of that. I was going to make some adjustments to the bust point, but I've decided not to do that for now. So let me show you what the whole thing's gonna look like before this battery dies and then I will cut out the pieces and get back to you. So as you can see, before this dies on me, I have quite a bit of this fabric. It actually is a lot. A double bed sheet is quite a bit of fabric. Uh, this is what we are working with. I think it's really pretty. It is quite lightweight, but it's not sheer either. So this pattern, I'm doing it with facing. I also did draft facing to go with the new neckline and the skirt will stay the same length. I will change that if I need to when the time comes. Back facing is the same and skirts, skirt pieces are the same. To save myself some stress, I'm going to go charge this battery and do all of the pattern, pinning, cutting out, etc. I will get back to you when I start to piece everything together, I guess. I've made this before, it didn't take me that long, so I'm hoping I can get it done today. I bought thread, so. I know all that sort of stuff is in line. I just might not have a zip. Okay, so it's been actually a couple hours. I've had my dinner. This took a lot longer to charge than I thought. I made straps for <laughs> another thing I'm working on, but I think I'm just going to jump in to making this dress. What I have decided is that I will not be, you know, skipping. Sorry if you can hear the 
tinkling noise, it is my Diet Coke. So I'm going to do stay stitches right now along the neckline and along the armholes just to stabilize everything. And I did, I will admit, I considered not doing the stay stitches. Um, and that was just out of laziness, but I'm, I'm gonna do it. So if you don't know what that is, it's just like a running stitch um, along cut edges, especially rounded edges, like not dead straight ones, just to stabilize the fabric. Um, and because this fabric is so old, I think it's, and it's just like kind of very fragile. Feet. Well, not fragile, it's just lightweight. So I'm gonna do that. I think I'm also going to sew up the sides of the, Oh, I need to sew the darts. That's the big thing. I'm gonna do the darts and then probably piece together the bodice and the skirt pieces, but I don't see myself doing any gathering today. My dad is calling me, I'll be back. You can see I've done the stay stitches. Um, it's actually kind of hard for you to see because I got a pretty good color match on the thread. It just keeps slipping. Um, really glad I did do this. It would have been silly of me not to. Um, Especially for, this is the big front scoop neck. Um, it's even, it's fine. But yeah, the fabric was already like kind of shifty when I was doing this. So glad I did that. I'm just going to piece together the main body. And then I'll see if I decide to go any further. Um, I know what I was just saying there. I haven't sewn in the darts. So darts are very stressful in my opinion. Um... I think in most people's opinion, especially because I'm not sure of the placement of these darts. Anyways, I don't have them marked in on this. I didn't mark them in when I was cutting because um, I didn't have my chalk with me. So I'm going to go mark those in. Very stressy. I'll do that. I'll stitch them in and, uh, and then I'll press them because I have a couple things I need to press for other projects as well but I think I'll probably sew in the darts and then sew together some of the skirt pieces and then go and press things and then see what time it is because I was on the phone with my parents for a little bit. So we'll see what we have time for today. I know, <laughs> you can't see my face. I know this is pretty common knowledge, but I also wanted to share if people didn't already know when you are sewing darts, this is the top, okay. Let me scoot you back. This is the top of the dart here. So um, I don't do a little back stitch here um, just to reduce bulk because it will be fine. But at the top here, do not back stitch there um, to try and get a smooth result. Just leave two tails from your machine stitch and just tie a little knot in it. I will tie two. Uh, to secure that and don't pull it too tight either um sorry it's just not working for me right now <laughs> but um so just two little knots some people just do one i do too and then being careful not to pull it so it doesn't like distort the fabric but that's key to having nice neat darts even though this is a back dart but still you want it to look nice and you know tidy when it's all pressed the darts are sewn I always put this on too low of a surface. Um, the darts are in, they look fine. Uh, the fabric is, it's one of those ones that was kind of deceiving. It seemed pretty thick, but it is quite light. Um, so far it seems fine. The dart placement is also okay. I did shorten the body because when I tried on the original, I was saying to my mom like, what do you think I, alterations I should make? Do you think I should do this or that? And she said, I think you should make the body shorter. I'm thinking now it's gonna be a little bit, too, not too short, but like shorter than I'd like. So I think I'm just gonna be careful um, not to take too much of this when I'm attaching the skirt, but it should be fine. But it looks pretty cute, I mean, it looks washed out, even more washed out. It's a very light pattern um, or print. It's almost 9 p.m., I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to, give up on this one for today and just do that all day tomorrow but I think I'm actually making because when I was ironing to press those seams I pressed the hem of this this is the Ogden tank 
or yeah Ogden Cami from True Bias first one I'm making so um I'm not making a video as I go but I might do a little sew and tell situation um on Instagram so follow me there at anime by design but I think I'm just going to stitch what I've pressed in this and it's it's almost done so I might just finish that and then chill I just realized I wasn't recording. So it is the next day. Um, I'm just getting into my sewing now. It's like half one. Yeah, I think I mentioned it in yesterday's clips. I'm waiting on an email uh, about something and I'm just like very, very nervous. <laughs> so that is why uh, I should hear back by like before I go to bed tonight, but it might, you know, it could always be next week either. Um, so nervous about that. Anyways, that's why I'm trying to distract myself with a sewing project. So I finished that tank top last night, or that like cami top, but that will be in another video. For now, I'm getting back into my dress. So the darts are in, so I just need to like piece the facing together, the bodice together, and the skirt pieces. Um, I think that's like the next step. Something that's gonna be down the road, but I'm nervous about already is the zip because the fabric is so lightweight. Um, I'll try and find like the lightest, like most lightweight zip I have because a couple different colors could work for this. I've seen a tutorial that I used for, I it was for clothing, but I used it for a needlepoint cushion um, for inserting a zip and I thought it was really good. So I will link it down below. Um, if you shop Etsy patterns, you probably know Kachi. Um, it's her Instagram account. She posts really helpful videos sometimes. So. I will try and link that down below if I can, um, or just her account and you'll find it there. I'm thinking I'll be able to get the rest of this done today. Oh, also the sleeves. Yeah, eh, that's fine. Let's get to piecing. Just got handfuls of clips. Okay, so they're all pieced together and I'm worried about the facing because I had to draft the facing myself. I made it like quite narrow compared to what it should have been. Um, but, I think that's the next step is putting in the facing because um, attaching the skirt I I know how to do that you know that's why well, I, I know how to do all of this I sew pretty often so um, but I think putting in the facing is probably the next step um, so I'm gonna lay this out here and pin this in um, I did not press the seams open, I'm just going to finger press them open because this fabric is very lightweight. So they're just sliding across it with my nails, really did the job. Um, and I'll do that here as well. So I think we're going to go facing, uh, understitch the facing, and then sleeves. I was going to say the sleeves should be fine, but I really feel like I'm asking for trouble saying that. Really dislike gathering skirts if you've seen any of my sewing videos before. Actually, I think two of them got corrupt the footage got corrupted. So maybe you don't know. I hate gathering skirts. I really hate it. So I think this will be fine though because the fabric's so lightweight. Cuz I remember when I made the Monica dress from oh what's the pattern company i'll link that video if i i'm pretty sure i made a video on that great pattern would recommend um because i used a really lightweight fabric it was so fine so maybe it will be fine but let's pin this in get it situated and just plow through so the facing is actually like going on surprisingly well i am just using clips as always but i have it done like most of the way and it's actually lining up so maybe my drafting skills aren't that bad or am i like changing is it drafting it's not really drafting because i just made changes to an existing pattern right but yeah, I think it's actually going pretty well. I am still nervous to like sew it in and understitch it and everything, but I'll understitch it and then I'll try and press it because I do still need to press the top that I finished last night, like the understitching of that too. So this actually might be okay. So went downstairs, why is it overexposed? There we go. Um, pressed 
the facing and it was just like not sitting right and I pressed it as best as I could and I was kind of worried but I just slowly stitched in the facing and was really careful and I think it is lying pretty well like it needs to be pressed obviously back but like when I do fold it back it's got a good nice smooth edge so and oh let me actually forgot about this obviously I have a top on it's a bit bulky but see and I thought this scoop was going to be much much lower obviously this needs to be like pressed in yeah see I thought this was going to be a much lower scoop you know like more like here um but obviously I can just draft that into another one. It just looks so much more extreme when you, when you draft it on a pattern for some reason. There we go. So I think it'll be cute though. With the sleeves. I mean with it with a little my little pearl necklace it'll probably be cute, but I definitely did intend for it to be quite a bit lower. It's just weird because it it looks like a huge scoop because I I wanted it like a big scoop but just miscalculated no it'll probably sit like that and that's nice it's actually because it's a wider neck that's why I was also I think nervous of bringing it so low um to not make it a v-neck to try and still get that scoop but I think I can do that another time but I'm pretty happy with how this is working out so I think I'm gonna insert the sleeves now I, and I love I come to every part and I'm like this is a stressful part there are very few non-stressful parts of sewing a garment in my opinion um I still like doing it but it scares me sometimes understitching is not scary piecing things together is not scary but other than that so I'm going to grab the sleeves match up those notches and pop them in Okay, I'm midway through inserting the sleeves. I can't remember what clip I filmed last. But I wanted to show you what I did as a way of like kind of easing in the sleeves. Um, so it's all, you can hear it clattering, it's all clipped in on this side. So I, I did it as you typically would. But it says to ease it in. But I found it last time as well when I made it that the sleeves were they they didn't quite fit in like I would have had to almost gather it slightly rather than ease um so I was left with quite a bit of extra fabric but what I did instead and you can see because I have one sleeve stitched in now and I'll adjust the uh, exposure as needed but you can see there it's not perfectly centered on this top seam here but I let's see if I can show it on this side there you go I made a little fold like this so it didn't stitch perfectly straight but that's okay um and it kind of just creates a little bit of a a puff at the shoulder um like a little pleat but nothing too crazy and it's kind of an easy way to instead of like trying to do little gathers and kind of ease like that I think that this is an easier way to do it so just wanted to add that in but I think it looks pretty cute from here you know it's it's looking adorable um i'm just finding it hard to like focus so i'm going to put in the other sleeve and then gather the skirt i guess is it yeah and then obviously i'll have to the edges like hem these sleeves um but i will do that at another point and um, i'll do that when i'm hemming the actual skirt as well um which always takes a while but I'll I'm kind of like trying to batch pressing things um because it's so annoying having to run downstairs switch on the iron wait for it to heat up and then go press so I'm just trying to stitch things and then press them all and then go back to the machine but while I'm sewing this I'm also figuring out my next projects because I did buy some fabric last week or the week before a couple weeks ago um, and I'm just trying to get a bunch of projects done in a short amount of time. But we will get there. Sorry, I'm just messing with the clips. That is, anyways, the sleeve that I wanted to show you.
the skirt is on um it looks fine not great i'm hoping it'll improve a bit with pressing um obviously it's not this high up it's like more like there um but there's some visible stitching from where i gathered it so the gathers seem even enough you know not like not bad enough that i want to redo it seems fine so i think what i'm going to do now is insert the zip um and i talked about the tutorial that i use to insert zip so i'm gonna try and do that on a garment i'm gonna watch it again on my phone and then do it i found a zip um this is a zip i've chosen it's not a great like it looks fine there it'll be fine when like when it's inserted it's a 16 inch zip if you're wondering i don't know what this calls for i'll just check it myself but it'll be fine i know how to insert zips and yeah hoping it's not super visible zips are definitely not my strong point so yeah i have that tutorial linked down below once it's in i'm just going to press the dress as well i'm probably gonna yeah the whole way this the way that it's inserted with that tutorial um i will need to press it i'm quite sure and then I'll just have to hem. So I'll probably try it on before I hem it so I kind of know what length I'm working with. And yeah, I'll probably have a finished garment by this evening. The dress is on. Uh, let me see if I can find a better spot for the camera, but obviously this facing has no intention of tucking itself in and lying flat. So I'm gonna go press that now, but it's so cute. So sleeves good body good um i'm pretty happy with how i drafted i didn't want it to be too tight across the bust because i have a lot of clothes that are like too snug um so i'm really happy with the fit generally uh the zip i will link that tutorial that that tutorial is chef's kiss i love it it makes it so much easier this is looking stupid right now but i actually think i was worried that it was going to be too high of a neckline i think once the facing is like pressed it'll be here it'll be fine it looks very vintage the style this is why i was making it in this like cut um skirt is cute so i just need to hem it um if you can see it's hitting like just below my knee right now so i'm actually not going to take it up a whole ton because i want it to be maybe suitable for work or that it has like more of a vintage look where it would be that tad bit longer also because i always really struggle with things getting too short in the back anyways i think it is so cute um i'm gonna hem it i don't need to bring you along for hemming it because that's boring and yeah the sleeves are a great fit it's so cute uh i'm gonna hem it and i'll probably take better clips of it tomorrow um when i have other like the top pressed and all of that i'm gonna see if i can get the spacing to lie down um but overall very happy with this make so the dress is done it's actually been a couple of days because as i said in earlier clips i was waiting on an email uh and it was bad so i had to kind of get over that um so we're back to the sewing machine and I will insert some clips of me wearing this dress. I haven't, I've tried it on multiple times, but I haven't done like film the try on clips yet. But here it is. I think it looks adorable. I really, really like it. And I really do like this fabric. The pros and cons, or you know, the wins and fails of this dress. A clear fail is the facing. For the life of me, I cannot get this facing to lie down. Um, I'm actually going to use um, like Wonderweb is like the brand name of it where it's the iron-on hem that stuff I'm gonna use Wonderweb to, to stick it down because for the life of me I cannot get it to lie flat and I want to be able to wear this dress so it is fine up around the shoulders but it's just right at the neckline and I think it's because of how I drafted it or you know how I changed the neckline I'm guessing it has to do with that I also did make the facing too small like too too short so that could also be a factor 
honestly I don't know I've pressed it like three times I've considered restitching it down like it's it's not moving so well it is moving that's the problem so I'm just going to stick it down in a couple spots with some wonder web and it's not so bad when it's off the hanger so I think it's also just the the tension from like the front of the skirt pulling it down I don't know so if you remember from the start of the video I shortened the body by about four centimeters I think um, it was it works it's completely fine I don't think it was totally necessary but because the previous fit was also great but I do think this fits a fraction better did it need to be a full four centimeters I don't know am I going to draft a slightly longer one like something in between probably not uh, I'm happy with this one thing I will say about the fit so I had considered uh, changing the darts um, but I didn't do that it's fine there you know it's not the most perfectly fitted item but really I don't have the skills to make a perfectly fitted item right now so it works as well as I need it but I'm pretty happy with the fit of this overall the length is great and um, so this dress could be a little bit shorter on taller people um, because I am not a tall person by any means one meter sixty if you're wondering the sleeves where I did the little pleat they look great um, the zip so I also think I did mention that I had zips here and I have like such a collection of them I also don't live near anywhere that I can go and just buy these things uh, the nearest one to me is actually closing down this week so it would take a long time and be a difficult process for me to try and get zips that I need so I was using ones that I had because I'm also trying to like work through my stash at the minute and I thought that it would be fine I forgot to trim some threads so the tutorial from Kachi that I used for zips is the only way I'm going to be putting in zips from now on you know because usually it's something I really struggle with but I think it turned out quite well um but it would have been maybe to about here uh, the actual zip but I was like oh no it'll be fine if I just end it right before the skirt um I don't know why I thought that was going to work uh so I'm glad it's just a me made item for me because I know I can squeeze myself into it um and it fits perfectly once I'm in but it's definitely a like one boob at a time situation um because it's just it's too small I needed to put in a bigger zip I have learnt my lesson thankfully I can still get this on and off but don't try and substitute a shorter zipper there's a reason they have a longer one that's my lesson for today overall I'm really glad I took the risk and made this dress with a bed sheet it was literally a bed sheet I got in a second hand shop and I dyed it to try and warm up the color a bit I'm also glad I did that um, I could have even dyed it a stronger color but I was kind of sticking to more of a pastel look I still have plenty of that fabric left and I really like it so I think I'm going to make a top as well out of what's left but I'm really glad I did get a successful large project out of it and it is the vintage kind of look I was going for if you enjoyed this little adventure in sewing be sure to subscribe to my channel I'm always posting sewing videos experimenting with just all different kinds of sewing projects and rarely following the instructions you can also follow me on instagram at anime by design and i will see you in my next video